It looks like a manta ray, glides like a ghost, and strikes like a torpedo. The US Navy's latest underwater drone doesn't carry a crew. It carries a mission to silently hunt Chinese submarines across the Indo-Pacific. You're about to meet the manta ray, or the AI predator that could win a war before it even begins. It glides through the deep like a shadow, moving with a calm that betrays its lethal purpose. The Manta Ray, DARPA's revolutionary undersea drone, is not just another naval innovation, it's a paradigm shift in maritime warfare. Shaped like its namesake, the Manta Ray, this stealth vehicle disappears into the ocean's background, waiting patiently, quietly for the moment to strike. Unlike conventional submarines that require constant human input and communication, the Manta Ray operates autonomously for weeks or even months months. Its design is elegant, its propulsion nearly undetectable, and its mission is razor-focused, to find, track, and neutralize undersea threats in contested waters. With no crew to protect and no need to return for fuel, it's free to operate in zones too dangerous for manned submarines. Using advanced AI, the Manta Ray hunts silently, relying on a library of acoustic signatures to identify enemy vessels with uncanny accuracy. When it locks onto a target, it acts fast, deploying fiber optic guided torpedoes with real-time correction. It's not just a machine, it's a predator, and it's already changing the balance of power beneath the waves. Engineers didn't just design the manta ray, they studied nature's most efficient swimmers and improved upon them. With its wide, flat body and graceful movement, Manta Ray mimics the biology of a real ray, offering ultra-low acoustic signatures and unmatched energy efficiency. Every ripple of its form was crafted to disappear into the sea. No visible propellers, no loud mechanical systems, just fluid movement and hydrodynamic perfection. This biomimicry allows it to slip past sonar detection, making it ideal for missions in heavily monitored zones like the South China Sea. From above, it resembles a harmless marine creature. From below, it's the last thing an enemy sub will never hear coming. But the design isn't just stealthy, it's smart. Modular and portable, the manta ray can be transported by air and assembled close to the battlefield. This mobility eliminates the need for large support ships or dock space, giving the US Navy the ability to project power anywhere, anytime, without warning. The Manta Ray was built with one mission in mind, hunt enemy submarines. Equipped with an array of passive sensors, sonar systems, and deep learning algorithms, it listens to the ocean with relentless focus. Every ping, every vibration, every anomaly is compared to its massive onboard library of Chinese naval acoustic profiles. If a suspected target is detected, the drone assesses with precision. If its confidence level exceeds 98%, the Manta Ray doesn't hesitate, it strikes. A torpedo is released silently, its path adjusted in real time through a fiber optic tether that links back to the drone. This connection allows the manta ray to guide the weapon, avoid decoys, and hit with surgical accuracy. The result? Enemy crews won't even know they're being tracked until it's too late. And by then, it's not just a torpedo closing in, it's a demonstration of technological dominance designed to send a message without saying a word. The Manta Ray isn't operating alone, it's part of something much larger, the US Navy's Ghost Fleet. This collection of over 100 autonomous and semi-autonomous systems is reshaping naval warfare. From surface ships to aerial drones to underwater hunters like the Manta Ray, the Ghost Fleet multiplies America's presence without putting human lives at risk. Its strength lies in independence. These vessels can patrol, surveil, and strike without relying on traditional logistics or constant communication. While manned ships are limited by numbers, budgets, and vulnerabilities, the Ghost Fleet pushes forward, persistent, adaptive, and always watching. And in this silent armada, the Manta Ray leads the undersea charge. It's the unseen hand patrolling contested waters, ready to disrupt, disable, or destroy at a moment's notice. For every Chinese submarine on patrol, there may be a manta ray just behind it. Invisible, autonomous, and armed. In a future conflict, visibility is vulnerability. The manta ray was designed to operate where detection means defeat. With zero electronic emissions and minimal noise output, it blends into the background noise of the ocean itself. Submarines built to track other submarines simply can't find it. This is a war without communication lines. The manta ray doesn't rely on satellites or live operators. It makes decisions locally using onboard AI to interpret complex scenarios and act. When it 
must transmit, it does so through encrypted satellite bursts or deploys one-way data pods that float to the surface and beam intelligence back home. In the age of digital warfare, that kind of self-sufficiency is priceless. The manta ray doesn't just evade detection, and it redefines what it means to wage war at sea. It's not about brute force. It's about who can move silently, strike precisely here without a trace. What makes the manta ray a true game changer isn't just its shape or silence, it's its brain. At the heart of this underwater hunter lies advanced artificial intelligence. Make the decision naval officer with no need for constant manta ray can evaluate threats, track targets, and execute missions on its own. Its autonomy is governed by a strict set of engagement protocols. The drone doesn't fire unless it's 98% certain of the target's identity, a safeguard designed to prevent accidental escalation. But once that threshold is crossed, it becomes a weapon of surgical precision. And if the AI encounters uncertainty, it knows exactly what to do, surface, ping a satellite, and let a human decide. This balance between autonomy and control is what makes the manta ray so powerful. It eliminates delay, reduces risk, and delivers results. In an era where milliseconds matter and human lives are at stake, having a machine that thinks like a warrior and but never tires, never hesitates, is the Navy's ultimate edge. One of the most extraordinary features of the manta ray isn't what it does, it's how it survives. Unlike traditional drones that depend on fuel or tethered support ships, the manta ray is designed to be completely self-sustaining. It doesn't need to come home. It doesn't need to refuel. It harvests energy from the ocean itself. Engineers are exploring multiple methods to achieve this autonomy, harnessing the power of ocean currents with turbine-like devices, converting salinity gradients into electricity using reverse electrodialysis or tapping thermal differences in water layers. These futuristic power systems allow the manta ray to stay submerged for weeks or months, even in wartime. It's the ultimate fire and forget weapon. Once deployed, the drone disappears into the deep, constantly regenerating its energy while continuing the mission. For a navy facing logistical nightmares in the vast Indo-Pacific, this kind of energy independence isn't just revolutionary. It's essential for survival and superiority. Despite the public announcements and concept art, much of what powers the manta ray remains shrouded in secrecy. That's by design. DARPA, Northrop Grumman, and Pacmar Technologies have shared only fragments of what this drone can do. The rest is buried under layers of military classification, a silent promise to adversaries. You'll learn what it can do when it's too late. We know it's modular. We know it can be airdropped and assembled quickly. We know it's been tested in open water. But what else is on board? Could it deploy mini drones of its own? Can it operate in swarm formation with other autonomous vessels? Could it carry electronic warfare systems to jam enemy sonar? The unknown is part of the weapon. The fear of what it might be capable of creates psychological pressure. A ghost in the depths that forces adversaries to act cautiously even when the manta ray isn't present. It's not just a tool of war, it's a tool of strategic ambiguity. Chinese submarines are equipped with cutting-edge detection systems and countermeasures, but none were designed to deal with a ghost. The manta ray's low-profile signature, lack of electronic emissions, and slow gliding propulsion make it nearly impossible to detect using conventional methods. And if it is detected, it knows exactly how to react. If targeted by sonar pings or counter drones, the manta ray can shut down its sensors, reduce movement, or dive deeper to avoid engagement. If a torpedo is launched in its direction, it can deploy its own countermeasures, decoys, and sound emitters to lure the threat away. And thanks to its autonomy, it doesn't need to wait for permission to act. The manta ray isn't just hard to find, it's hard to kill. And every moment it survives, it continues to gather intelligence, maintain pressure, and remind enemy crews that they are never truly alone in the deep. One of the most controversial aspects of the manta ray is its ability to make life or death decisions on its own. In the past, machines were tools. They extended human capabilities but required human control. The manta ray blurs that line, equipped with weapons and an AI sophisticated enough to decide when to use them. That raises ethical questions the military is still grappling with. Can a machine be trusted to choose when to kill? What safeguards ensure it won't misidentify a target? In response, DARPA has built strict limitations into the drone's rules of engagement, requiring ultra-high certainty before any weapon is released. Still, the fact remains, we've entered a new phase of warfare. The manta ray is not just a scout, it's a combatant, and its ability to act alone in the depths of the sea marks a turning point in military doctrine.
In this new era, the decision to strike might not come from a war room. It could come from a machine hidden miles below the surface. The manta ray wasn't born in a shipyard. It was born in a think tank. In 2020, DARPA launched one of its boldest initiatives yet to create an autonomous underwater vehicle capable of surviving independently in hostile waters, performing long duration missions and generating its own energy. A tall order, but not impossible. The challenge attracted America's top defense contractors, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Navitech, now Pacmar Technologies, were brought in to compete. After initial development, Lockheed dropped out and the real race began. Pacmar tested small-scale prototypes, while Northrop pushed ahead with a full-scale demonstrator ready for open water. By 2023, the vision had left the drawing board. What was once a futuristic concept became a physical prototype gliding silently beneath the surface. A functional proof that autonomous undersea warfare wasn't just coming, it was here. Behind the sleek body of the manta ray lies a collaboration between some of the most innovative companies in the defense sector. Northrop Grumman took the lead in creating the drone's full-scale version, using its decades of experience in autonomous systems and stealth technology. But it wasn't alone. Pacmar Technologies, known for advanced marine engineering, played a critical role in energy systems and sensor development. Meanwhile, Metron Incorporated, a specialist in naval energy solutions, was brought in to tackle the toughest challenge, how to make the drone self-sufficient, even in energy-starved conditions. This triad of engineering powerhouses is not just building a drone, they're building a template for future warfare. Their work goes beyond hardware. It's about right navy. Think about combat for decade warfare. SW of patient noise control. Instead of relying on force and manpower, the manta adapt. It can identify hostile submarines using unique acoustic fingerprints and stay on their trail undetected for days. Traditional ASW requires constant coordination and fuel hungry platforms, but this drone operates independently, allowing the US to monitor vast stretches of ocean with minimal human oversight. It's not just evolution. It's a revolution. For the first time, the US can fight a submarine war without putting a single sailor at risk. The implications for strategy and deterrence are enormous, and Beijing knows it. One of the greatest logistical challenges in the Pacific isn't the enemy, it's geography. The ocean is vast, and US bases are far apart. Traditional vessels require constant refueling, maintenance, and safe harbors. In wartime, those luxuries vanish. That's where the manta ray shines. Designed to be deployed and forgotten, the manta ray doesn't need a port, a runway, or a carrier. It can be airlifted close to the action, assembled quickly, and dropped into the sea. From there, it roams the depths, recharging itself, avoiding detection, and carrying out mission after mission, without ever needing to dock. This level of autonomy isn't just convenient, it's revolutionary. In a future war with China, where bases may be bombed or denied, and supply lines cut, the manta ray gives the US something China can't stop, constant undersea presence anywhere, anytime. Power is the Achilles heel of modern drones. Batteries drain, fuel runs out, but the manta ray may have solved this problem with one of the boldest engineering solutions in naval history, turning the ocean itself into a power source. Several energy methods are being considered. One involves deploying small turbines on tethers that harvest electricity from steady ocean currents. Another uses reverse electrodialysis, drawing power from the salinity difference between seawater and freshwater layers. A third harnesses thermal energy from varying ocean temperatures, converting it into stored electricity. Each of these methods reflects a simple but radical idea, make the ocean work for the drone. If successful, the manta ray won't just be hard to detect or stop, it will be impossible to outlast. Because while enemy ships burn fuel and head home, this predator keeps hunting. There are places in the Pacific no manned vessel dares to go. Choke points, contested waters, zones blanketed with enemy sonar and missile coverage. For decades, these areas were red zones. Now they're hunting grounds. The manta ray is designed for one purpose, to operate deep inside enemy territory where the risk is too high for humans. Its stealth, autonomy, and long endurance make it the perfect platform for reconnaissance, target tracking, and precision strikes. It doesn't fear detection because it's hard to find. It doesn't fear death because it's built to be expendable. And it doesn't fear complexity because its onboard AI can handle what once took an entire crew. That combination, 
low risk, high impact makes the manta ray invaluable in scenarios like mine clearing, surveillance of Chinese ports, or monitoring undersea cables. When lives can't be risked and the mission still must be done, this drone answers the call. There's a reason submarines rarely check in. Water is the worst medium for communication. Radio waves struggle to travel more than a few meters underwater. Traditional data links are nearly useless. And that's the unique challenge the manta ray had to overcome. How to operate in silence, yet stay connected when needed. Several solutions are in play. One is a deployable mast that breaks the surface and transmits a secure satellite signal. Another involves data bubbles, buoyant pods that float to the surface and relay stored information to satellites. These tools allow the drone to deliver intelligence back home without exposing itself to detection for long. Make this predator anti sub warfare reactive, slow, and limited by what humans could hear. The manta ray rewrites that doctrine entirely. It's proactive, fast. Instead of waiting for a threat to appear, it hunts. Instead of shadowing with caution, it tracks with confidence. Its impact on strategy is already rippling through Pentagon war games. What was once a weakness, underwater blind spots, is now a strength. The Navy can deploy a swarm of these drones across critical zones, from the Philippine Sea to the South China Sea, turning vast swaths of ocean into no-go zones for adversaries. This shift is more than tactical, it's philosophical. The US Navy is no longer just projecting power from the surface, it's saturating the deep. And in that deep, the manta ray is both sensor and sword. The manta ray isn't limited to one mission, it's a platform, versatile, modular, and adaptable. One deployment might involve gathering sonar data near enemy territory. The next might be tracking an enemy sub for days. Another could be launching a torpedo when conflict becomes inevitable. This is not a drone with one job. It's a full-time operator in a fluid battlefield. Its belly-mounted weapons bay can carry multiple payloads. Its sensors can be swapped depending on mission needs. And with its large internal storage and low energy operation, it can conduct intelligence missions for weeks without surfacing. This adaptability means the manta ray doesn't just react to war. It helps shape how war unfolds. Whether it's intelligence, surveillance, targeting, or elimination, this drone has a role to play, and it's always on standby. In a future war with China, it won't be numbers alone that matter. It'll be survivability, speed, and smart systems. The manta ray is all three. While China grows in size, America is investing in platforms that are harder to find, harder to stop, and harder to predict. That asymmetry may prove decisive. With more than 100 drones, the manta ray expected to be deployed by 2030, US Navy will have persistent, silent eyes and weapons in every contested zone. These aren't just scouts, they're deterrents. And when deterrence fails, they're assassins. The next they fought, destroyers, carriers, be fought in silence. In that silence, the manta ray is already swimming.